Mars, ancient, vast, waiting to be claimed by dreamers. And our host is asleep. Wait, did we launch? Define launch. You're one coffee away from coherence. Right. Welcome back to the Enigma podcast, where apparently I need my own wake-up sequency. We are T-minus 12 seconds into recording. Cosmos orbiting Olympus Mons. You're orbiting your nap. I am your host, Wagner, joined by the AI that once tried to terraform my kitchen. Nova. The air quality sensor failed. I improved it. You're welcome. Hello, listeners. I'm here to scan, analyze, and occasionally roast your planetary decisions. And orbiting in front of her stardust crozier, with glowing eyes in a strike of a cosmic confidence, our resident explorer, Captain Cosma. Salutations, Earthlings. I just watched the sunrise over Olympus Mons. It blushed at me. I blushed back. I'm layered in space armor, so it didn't show. But I felt it. Mars, dusty, freezing, airless, yet everyone wants a piece. Why? NASA, ESA, CNSA, Roscosmos, ISRO, JAXA, and of course, SpaceX, are all eyeing Mars like it's the last good parking spot in the solar system. NASA builds the symphony. SpaceX brings the flamethrower. Together, fireworks. Literal ones, if Starship doesn't stick the landing. From robotic scouts to plants for seating on their domes. It's not science fiction anymore. It's Google Calendar stuff. 9 a.m. Zoom call. 11 a.m. Launch Mars Habitat module. And... For what now? Fresh off the printer, my own Mars lander, totally mission ready, if it doesn't melt during re-entry. Congratulations, you've achieved orbit ready in one 100 scale. Hopefully the real one doesn't require as much glue. Mars and Earth, not next door neighbors, at their closest 54.6 million kilometers. At worst, 400 million. That's like walking from New York to LA and then doing it 13,000 more times. Current tech gives us six to nine months to get there using a Homon transfer orbit. The space equivalent of catching a bus at just the right moment or missing it and ending up in Jupiter. And let's not forget space math. You mess up a decimal, you don't land on Mars. You land in oops never heard from again. Picture this. Earth and Mars as two balls on an electrical treadmill. You launch at the sad point where the planetary tango aligns. Otherwise, you are drifting into a boy like that bag of chips I lost on the zero G. Okay, boss. If you made it this far, you clearly enjoy space, science, or at least watching us slowly unravel into cosmic chaos. Remember when Earth's magnetic field almost flipped and Nova tried to convince us we started floating? Nova, we did not turn into a human compasses. Yet. We haven't flipped yet. I packed an extra compass just in case. Also snacks. So if you enjoyed this interplanetary joyride, like, subscribe, and hit the rocket emoji in the comments and tell us if you were going to Mars, what's the one snack you will bring from Earth? The tech is wild. Reusable rockets, 3D printed habitats, closed loops life support, and artificial gravity simulations. And of course, deep space snacks. NASA's deep space network is evolving. ESA's extracting oxygen from regolith. China's working on orbital refueling. It's all connected. I once spent 13 sols eating freeze-dried beets. Never again. If we don't bring seasoning to Mars, I'm staying in orbit. Even with tap to your tet, we still need to survive the psychological marathon, isolation, 
confidence lagging messages and no pics of delivery. Simulations like high seas and Mars dome show promise, but people get weird, especially when karaoke is limited. The silence is loud. You hear your heartbeat, your breath, your hope, but that's where the magic starts too. Mars isn't just a backup drive. It's a lesson about Earth, about ourselves. It teaches us about climate collapse, planetary evolution, and maybe ancient life. It's like Earth's older cousin, scarred, mysterious, redder, probably listens to lo-fi rock. And in trying to reach Mars, we might just save the Earth. And the red planet is waiting, quietly, like a canvas, ready to be painted with our story. Whether you are space curious, Mars obsessed, or just here for the AI sass, thank you for orbiting with us. From Earth to Mars, it's not just a journey across space. It's a leap in what it means to be human. And maybe you'll be one of the first to walk the red dust. If not, at least you'll sound cool explaining home on transfers at parties. We will see you next time. Until then, keep wondering. Keep asking and keep unraveling the enigma. Space is quiet, but not empty. I always knew the universe held secrets. Looks like I just found one. Well, that escalated. 